morning everyone. This is Kelly at 7 a.m. here in Ithaca, New York, which is insanely early for me because I'm a huge night owl. But I only got back from Korea like two weeks ago. So I'm still slightly jet lagged, just enough to wake up at 7. And I'm trying to maintain that this semester. I it's a Thursday, so I have three classes starting with a 9:40. So I'm first gonna go take my probiotics, go hop in the shower, and start getting ready. So I took my morning shower, and yes, I am the only CS major that takes showers. And dried my hair with this really nice hair dryer my sister got me. Put on some moisturizer, and got dressed. I just feel really silly doing this fit check. I don't really understand how I'm supposed to do it, but here's my outfit. Now time for breakfast. I got some yogurt and fruit from the dining hall, so I just mixed them up. I was trying to make this look aesthetically pleasing, but the banana wasn't cooperating. Just me struggling to get it look right. And only making it worse, of course. I eventually decided to eat this chunk away, so you can kind of hear me chewing. This honey I got a year ago when I got COVID because my only method of survival was drinking lots of hot honey water. But it was not rock solid, so I couldn't get any. Sad. The yogurt was good nonetheless. I never do makeup on weekdays, but it was 8am and I didn't feel like studying before classes. I also don't own an eyeliner, so I just use eyeshadow to draw out the edges. I put on some lipstick and now I'm headed to classes. I used TCAT to get to classes, but they cut down so many campus routes after COVID, as you can see right here. I'm walking to my operating systems class, which is a CS Core class. It's in Ives Hall and PepsiCo Lecture Hall. It's a huge class, so there's always students who end up having to sit on the floor in the back. I went to Terrace with my friend MJ to get lunch. We both had a burrito bowl. They didn't have these tickets until this semester, and it's really convenient. This is one of my favorite meals on campus. I usually get all the toppings except jalapenos. I was feeling extravagant, so I paid extra for the guacamole. Then I headed to Yuri's Hall to take human perception on application to computer graphics, art, and visual display. I really enjoyed taking computer vision last year, so it's interesting to learn the human side of it. I had two hours left until my next class, so I decided to study at Yuri's Library. 88 Library is also called the Harry Potter Library, and as a huge Potterhead, it's my absolute favorite spot to study on campus. They are so extra with these statues, and I love it. I studied for my OS class by reading the textbook on concurrent programming. The class is about systems programming and operating system design and implementation. Since it's focused on the basics of operating systems, concurrency, scheduling, synchronization, etc., it's definitely more theory heavy. A lot of people don't recognize that reading is actually a huge part of computer science and software engineering. We definitely do a lot of problem sets and programming assignments, but reading skills are so crucial in understanding algorithms, designs, and implementations. My last class for today is adult psychopathology since I'm doing an external specialization in psych. Fortunately, all my classes this semester are really close by and this one is back at Ives Hall in the same lecture room. I wonder if Pepsis are allowed. On my way back to my dorm, I dropped by the Cornell store because I had to pick up some manila envelopes. For those who are curious, these are the prices. Yeah, yeah, see what you got left. Sure, 
cashier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cashiers had a whole ton of this for them. I bought this one. I needed them to send in some tax documents because apparently, regardless of how I feel, I am now adult enough to file my taxes. So when I got back to Becker, I headed down to the printer room. Before I go down to dinner, I have to print a couple of tax documents. This is the computer room for Becker. And there's the printer. If you're watching this and haven't filed taxes yet, please go do that. I have to file taxes for both New York State and Hawaii, the state of Hawaii, because I stayed there over the summer. And thanks to the Hawaii Department of Taxation, I can file a couple documents online and I have to mail them in. So I'm going to print those out. You just have to tap it with your student ID and it does the magic for you. For dinner, I went to cookhouse with my friend Annie because they had a fall bar. They always had ramen bars at Beta House, but this is the first semester Cook is serving pho, which was quite impressive. It was, however, very salty, so Annie came up with this genius idea to pour some hot water from the coffee bar. I mean, I like, like in the dining room, everything is always too salty. Oh my god, I, I say the same thing. It's like they don't know how to use soy sauce. And like, I feel like in their minds, mm. seasoning just means adding more salt. Yeah. <laughs> After dinner, of course, I had some programming to do, so I went to the Becker Library. I'm taking a course on artificial intelligence, which is a CS elective. It's a really great class and a replica of Berkeley's AI course. It's also the least time-consuming CS elective I ever took. We have programming assignments every other week, but they usually take around 5 hours, which is insane compared to classes where I spend at least 20 hours per project. If you're interested, all the lecture materials are on YouTube, and the assignments are on a public website with an auto grader, so I highly recommend checking it out. We are working on recreating the game Pac-Man, where our Pac-Man is an AI agent that makes smart decisions based on the algorithms we implement. Here's my little Pac-Man moving around the maze. Look at her go. So cute. I completed 7 out of 8 questions, so I called it a day and headed back to my room. It's been a really long day and I'm so exhausted, so I'm rewarding myself with some kukkam. I took another shower, which puts me in the top 1 percentile of my major when it comes to shower frequencies. Did some skincare, and finally I snuggled up in my bed. Thanks for following me along my day. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed my video. Toodles!